new developments on that fiery train derailment in western Minnesota. Families in Raymond are back home this evening after an early morning wake up to evacuate their homes. That evacuation was ordered after a train carrying ethanol and corn syrup jumped the tracks. As you can see, several cars burst into flames, prompting concerns over air and water contamination. Our live team coverage continues for you this evening. Adam Ducter is live in Raymond, where emergency crews are now starting their 16th hour of cleanup. What's going on, Adam? Yeah, Frank, right now you can see those crews and all that heavy machinery behind me. Those folks are continuing to work on this cleanup. They'll do so until the job is done. A representative from this train company actually just spoke to us moments ago and says they're not sure exactly how long it'll take, but it could take a few days or so to get this all done. They have to pick up each one of these cars one by one while working to put out all the fires that continue to pop up as they do. Right now, the very, very good news is we are told there is no damage to the air here as well as the water here in Raymond. While well, investigators still work to determine exactly what caused this train to go off the tracks, we do know this was a shipment of corn syrup and ethanol headed north from Sioux City. The CEO and vice president from the train company responsible, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, came to town to talk to people today. We say their biggest priority is working now with the NTSB, who is investigating, and then when that investigation is done, getting right to clean up. Safety of the community is our utmost priority. Our process to start restoring the track and restoring this area is going to be highly involved with the local agencies and the NTSB as well. Uh, the company didn't give an exact timeline, but again, they say it could take longer than today or maybe even a couple of days. But again, as of 11 a.m. today, everyone here in Raymond is back in their homes. They say as these crews continue to work, they could expect to see a possible flare up of flames once or twice. They say as of right now, there is absolutely no risk of an explosion. And again, at this point, no risk for toxic exposure from this derailment here in Raymond. Well, that's good to hear. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Adam.